Welcome back to OmniFactory. This is Zeta Zero here playing episode 7 of OmniFactory. Last episode we got to making our second tier 1 circuits and our second tier 2 circuits. Uh, we went ahead and crafted up a bunch of them in a big batch. Okay, here in the quest book we are going to get into deep mob learning today but we need to take care of Snad first. I've been uh, feeding uh, charcoals into our um, boilers here, but it's just a pain to keep up with it. I want to make the Snad to have a permanent solution. Okay, I did the math. To get five blocks of Snad, I'm going to need 810 sand. I already have a little bit of sand already, so I just need still need 381 more blocks of sand. Well, the sand went really quick, so let's put it all up in here like so, and what is it like that, I think, yes, all right, and like that, and about 11 of those, five snad, done. For the um, snad, I'm also going to need a vacuum chest, two timers, and a void upgrade. The autoclave is used with the pulsating iron liquid form and a diamond to make this, what was it called here, pulsating crystal. And here we go, one vacuum chest complete. Okay, and then for the timers, I need um, two clocks and two timers, done. For the uh, void upgrade, I need to make one of these, one of these, and one of these, done. And then one drawer to put it in, all right. Okay, I also need some regular pistons to chop it down. Alright, so we're going to then put the snad right here. And let's do this as well. Alright, let's make put these down on the bottom first. So, and then wrench them beforehand so that they're facing up like that. Then you can put the snat in. Five. And we want our timer right here. And we want this timer on the fastest possible setting like so. Alright, then we just need the pistons to be, let's see, put this level here. Pistons, alright. Five. Alright, and now we can take this framework down. some of this water. Perfect. All right. There we go. Now we just need to pipe it out the, and it's in here. And we need to pipe it out like so. And this is that input. And extract. There we go. Sugar cane in and apply our void. If you don't do if you forget to do this, you have millions of entities with sugar cane and crash your game. Don't want that to happen. Now from our our drawer chest, we're gonna do here, we're gonna extract there and insert 
there and ends up there. Let's see if that, there we go, already getting sugar. Perfect. And I did a little test and to power two of these steam dynamos, we need five snad running like this. So this is perfect. Okay, now it's time to go back in the quest book to the very beginning and make our framing table and framed drawers. This is a very important thing to do. Okay, we'll put the framing table down right here. And in it, what you do is you put your drawers, your frame drawers like here, and then you, there's three different areas. You can put things in there and it'll change how the um, drawer looks. There's a trim package, there's the front face and the side face, three different areas that you can set. This is the, one of the most important choices you will make in Omni Factory. If you make a ugly one, or a plain one, you will be ridiculed. Everyone will make fun of you on the Discord. So this is a very important choice. I'm gonna think about this and see what I can come up with. Okay, the uh, I've narrowed it down to four choices for my framed doors. Number one, I've got a stone front with a dark brick sides and redstone trim. What do you think? All right. Uh, number two, I've got the same dark brick uh, sides with a light gray brick trim and charcoal block front. I don't know, that might look a little too dark. Over here is the clown version. I've got a lapis front redstone size and again with the light gray brick trim. Then this one over here, I've got the uh, white brick front. I've got the um, jungle wood siding and um, smooth stone trim. There we go. Which one do you think I should go with? Okay, I've decided to go with the white brick front like this. But I think I'm going to go with the red trim on it, like so, just because I can. All right, it's time to work towards deep mob learning now. Um, we need to, First, we need to get infinite cobblestone via this cobblestone generator, and then make a cobble works where we uh, macerate the cobblestone and the gravel and the sand and the dust, and then turn that into clay. All right, let me get started on that right now. I need some lava here for my uh, cobblestone generator. Just get it the old-fashioned way by going down to a lava pool here at the bottom of the world. Okay, here we go. I think I got some five pistons. And then five macerators. Hooray! Here we go, one cobble generator, and put this on the ground, and a second cobble generator, ta-da. Okay, here's another trick. Um, if you handcraft your conduits, you get three, but if you make them in an assembler, you get four per craft. And that really adds up when you're making bunches of them with the more expensive metals. Okay, here's from where I'm setting up the cobble works. Three, four, five, perfect. How this works is cobblestone generator right next to a macerator, next to a macerator, next to a macerator. All right, and then each of these will output to the uh, right side like that like that and like that and then set auto output to on to on and to on perfect and the other side we're going to do the same thing except this time we're going to make glass one of those one of those and one of those output 
to the left, output to the left, auto eject, auto eject, perfect. Okay, for the next part, we're gonna need um, lots of string. Luckily, we already know how to make string with the sword. Do I still have the sword? Is it still in here? There it is, perfect. So sword and saplings and more saplings like that. And then there is our string. And over here we're getting coal for coal dust. Go ahead and get this going in Mr. Masturator over here. And then we smelt string and coal dust. I don't know where that came up with that recipe, but that's what it is. Coal dust and string. And that's going to make carbon mesh. Wonderful. And here we go. Um, pulsating mesh. Quest complete. All right, now we're over here to our simulation chamber. That's made with four of those. Dark steel, or got it. All right. The three dark steel machine holes. That is expensive. Wow. Done. Quest complete. All right, next we're gonna make these blank data models. No, blank data models done. The bone in there with one of these blank data models, and we have a skeleton model. Hooray! All right, I'm gonna just kind of temporarily set this up out here like so. And slap Mr. Skeleton in there, and I still need the polymer clay. Finish this up. I need to do a couple more things. I need to um, convert the dust block and into clay into a chemical reactor. And here we go. One basic chemical reactor done. Okay, so we're gonna slap down the chemical reactor here. And then we gotta build the end of war. And I think I can just kind of cheat. Not really cheat, but do it like that. We have two waters, and then we need to tell it to go down here. Perfect. Now we're getting clay. Wonderful. I'm just going to use my alloy smelter that I already have here. All right, what we're generating now is overworldian matter. Uh, we also need to tear up and get the hellish matter and then get the extraterrestrial matter. Once we get the extraterrestrial matter going with the Enderman and uh, Shulker models, then we can be self-sufficient. Uh, but we have to work our way up. And the way to get the hellish matter is like this. So we're going to need seven of these, we're going to need 28 of these, and seven of those. Okay, to get our um, hellish matter, we will need uh, seven netheracks, and netherrack is made in a chemical reactor with dust and lava. So let's get that taken care of. Okay, so here we go, we've got the... Uh, Seven and twenty-eight, like so, and my hellish matter. All right, perfect. We've got the very basic setup of the uh, deep mob learning here. So, um, got a ways to go. I've got to make the hellish and the extraterrestrial, and then. Do a lot of other work to get it self-sufficient and we're going to take that up next time see you then